Hello there, M. Strange here. Now this is just a really fast video where I, sh I want to show you some of the tools I'm like making to work on my new animated feature film. Not Heartstring Marionette, I'm already like working on a new one that's going to be out Christmas 2013. But um, I'm just going to show you some stuff and then later in other videos I'll, I'll actually show you how to do it and hopefully share the files with you so you can do it yourself. So this is my lip sync like uh, facial animation kind of rig thing. So the way to do it, and I want to do automatic lip sync, um, is I just load an audio file in there, which will do the automatic lip sync using the sound effector in the MoGraph module. But the scrubbing on the sound effector isn't that good. So I use that to do the sync, and then I actually use the old school load audio track to actually scrub the track and see the sound wave. So now that I did that, I'll have lip sync. <laughs> So the way I did this is just using a real simple um, joint setup in the head. This is an audio test. And as long as you do the topology right, like it's pretty easy to make it like a smooth um, skinning to make it work right. So now this is dynamic, so there's no keyframes, so which is okay. But then sometimes you want to be able to tweak the keyframes. So the way I do that is that I put the switch here that's to bake the keyframe. So I'm using this smart PRS tag thing I bought some time back. So all you have to do is play it back through. And so now it's baked so I can turn all this stuff off and it's baked these keys on the jaw rotator which is making the mouth open and close. So it'll look exactly the same now, but now that it's keys, you know, I can go in here and I can change the type and I can like clean them up if I go to the F curves and get rid of them. So you can go in here and uh, get rid of some of them. And then so now it's keys. It's an audio test. And I change the interpolation type and just to show you like you can go in here and tweak these blah, and destroy the face. But yeah. It's so now it's not dynamic anymore or whatever and you can go tweak the keys. And if you want to redo it, I just press this and go remove keys and then go back in here and turn all this stuff back on. And then I can change the mouth opening settings. This is an audio test. This is me testing the edge. If I want to. And it's just using the audio amplitude to drive the jaw. But for me, that you know, that's a, that's all I need to do that stuff. So then I have that and um, you can also go in here and manually, um, oops, and manually open and close the mouth like that. I just started using this so I'm not sure. So if I wanted to manually keyframe it, I can do that too. And uh, I can blink the eyes again manually. And then I created like a sort of auto blink. And that if you look at my timeline here, Here's zero to 168, like the the keys I'm the frames I'm working with, and then out here are these other keys. So this is a looped blink sequence made of keys. So it's an audio test. Oh, let's turn his sync back on just to make it look right. This is an audio test. This is me testing the edge. So this is these are just blink keys that are looped. So um, using these functions here, and then when I don't want it, if I want it to be um, manual, then I just move him off, and then now he's not blinking. So there's that for the blinks, which is something that takes some time to. And then I made a bunch of morphs. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use exactly. Let's turn the voice off. But I have all these in here, and I made them in ZBrush, and I brought them in to be morphs on top of this base head so you can mix all these up and there's probably too many in here right now I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna keep I have to do some tests but I also did the face and then I did the uh, the lips separately and the brows separately and the eyes separately like under and above the eyes so this is what I'm gonna be working with to animate the character heads or faces on my next movie and there's also this, you can't see the pupils because I don't have the textures on, but this is to make the eyes look left and right. And then if I go and screw something up or do whatever I do to this model, um, I always have this little reset switch right here. So I just go like this and it resets it all. And I can also save poses in here too if I want 
just a combination of all these things. So, and then we have we have these little joints for brow controls too. If I don't want to use the morphs, or if I want to add on to the morphs and do some real minute control, so I'll have to work with these. Probably smooth out their skinning, and I'll probably on some of the other tests I've did, I put uh, joints for the cheek too, so I can just grab them and move the cheeks. So I probably have to drop those back in there or do some more tests with that. But yeah. So my goal with this is to make the lip sync and facial animation as fast as it possibly can be while being flexible. And so far I'm getting there pretty close. I need to script some more of these things so I don't have to click a bunch of times. But yeah. So I hope to refine this a lot more and then be able to show you how to do it and share the files with you so hopefully you'll be able to use it in your films too. So um, until next time, M.Strange saying the bye.